Thing. I can't read the clock from there. Call the meeting back to order at three at seven thirty, rounded a minute or so. Um, open session. Um, call to order. So, pledge of allegiance. Karen Greenwood can lead us in the pledge of allegiance. Greenberg, I mean. Hand over your heart and say with me: I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, welcome to everyone. And I need a motion to adopt the agenda. Second. 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 All those in favor? Aye. Okay. Report of closed session items. No actions. We have no actions. We're good there, and recognitions, the Rotary Clubs of Torrance. So I don't know who wants to get up. Be the mouthpiece. Okay, good. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are again. We actually have more of these Karen can give you, but I'll pass our, around our flyer. We're once again holding an event last year. Well, for two years, it was in the uh, Double Tree, packed out 350 made an option to go to the Marriott, which can go up to 650. And so we're already well past 350 in the original sales. We saved you a table, once Thank again. You. And um, it's a $400 table. We kept the prices down on those those seats. Uh, and you're one of the few, because usually we sell, sell the tickets and then get the tickets out later. You'll be the first ones to actually have the tickets in your hand. Ooh. But also with that, and I'll leave that clipped, we need a little form filled out just for our paperwork. So I don't know who's going to be taking care we'll of that. We'll do that after Mr. the meeting. Lee? Okay. We'll do that after the meeting. Can you pass it up to the front? Is that okay? Well, just yeah, leave it there. We'll deal with it later. Okay. Uh, I would, though, like to introduce, because we didn't do it several years ago, the Rotarians, and I was going to say they can announce exactly what club they're from. And I know this is school board, so uh, proposition is not something you should end your sentence with. Right, George? <laughs> Don, there's a point there. Okay. So, start right here with uh, Scott Fellows. From? Yes, I represent a couple of clubs. Uh, I'm most recently in uh, Redondo Beach Rotary Club, but I'm transitioning out of that and joining South Bay Sunrise because I love breakfast more than I like lunch. And uh, I, I've been on this committee ever since they started it in 2009. I was on the original panelists back when they were on the, uh, I guess they call that the, what's the upstairs room or? Penthouse. The penthouse in 2009. And I was th sitting next to Frank Scott, who was a Trojan. And we actually became friends during the meeting, you know, in, during the tailgate party. And we've been friends ever since. So it's always been, it was, it, it was a nice way to sit next to a Trojan and have it actually work out to be good. And um, anyway, we want you guys all to be a part of it. I'm going to be auctioning off another uh, 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 party for 20 people on Jerry Marcel's yacht, similar to what we did for TEF Foundation. And we'll be doing it again. And uh, we'll have fun doing it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Next address will be slightly shorter. Karen? <laughs> Greenberg, by the way. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'll, I'll be very short. Karen Greenberg, South Bay Sunrise. Thank you. <laughs> And a very young husband. And David Hensler, South Bay Sunrise, go Bruins. <laughs> go Bruins. Where's uh, Torrance yeah. Rotary? Dean Reuter from the uh, Delamo. Delamo. Mighty the Delamo club. Um, club. Gosh, who is from Torrance? Well, I guess Dr. Dr. Kim. Do there you go. Dr. Oh. Kim and, and George is, uh, Dr. Mann is from uh, Delamo, Mighty That's Delamo club. So. so anyway, we're all well represented. We started... Uh, over seven, well, seven years ago, one was on Tuesday, two clubs, another on a Wednesday, and then we decided to merge together with Torrance Four, kind of shepherding everybody, and it's gone to what it is now, and we're expecting probably 550 at the Marriott on November 24th, Tuesday, before the big game. This year we opted to say home court advantage, so it's an SE home court advantage. We're going to have the uh, Traveler. Next year UCLA gets a chance at it if they can do it. They're going to have Traveler, the Song Girls, Don, the Song Girls, and the pep band and you see us going to bring their uh, cheer cheer boys what do you call them cheer cheerleaders so it's going to be a lot of fun and um, the speakers are um john papadakis from sc he spoke at both those first events he felt honored to be asked again and uh, you're going to help me on this one 
Chris Ferris. Chris Ferris from UCLA. Yeah. Pete Arbogast, the voice of the Trojans, is once again. He, he was the first one, the first time we started getting together, he said, oh, I'll be back, I'll be back. Um, there's a rumor, though, we talked to John uh, Robbins, uh, Robinson and Terry Donahue, and they didn't want to do it two years in a row to make it stale, but they said we'd come back the following year. So we're already projecting next year. Thank you for the opportunity. Any questions? Nope. Good. Thank you very Thank you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, Staff presentation and information report by student representative, which he probably has a big final or something tomorrow. They have no class. They have no school tomorrow. Well, that's right. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, well, that was... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um... Public hearing on the sufficiency of textbooks and instructional materials. I have a readout. Um, this is a duly noticed public hearing for Educational Code 60119-1240.3 and 42605 regarding the sufficiency of textbooks and instructional materials for the 2015-2016 school year. Any interesting inter, any interested persons are now afforded an opportunity to be heard. Since no majority protest has been filed, this hearing is now concluded, and the board may now consider sufficiency of textbooks and instructional materials for the school year 2015-2016. Um, public hearing on the board's initial response on the Torrance Unified School District's initial contract proposal to see to CSEA Chapter 845. The Torrance Unified School District's initial contract proposal to CSEA Chapter 845 was submitted at the regular meeting of the Board of Education held on September 21st, 2015. Copies of the proposal have been available to city libraries and the Human Resources Department for review by the public. A public hearing will be held on the Torrance Unified School District's initial contract proposal to CSEA Chapter 845 at this time. Is there any public comment related to the Torrance Unified School District's initial contract proposal to CSEA Chapter 845? None. So the Board of Education continues to look forward to the continuation of cooperative good faith contract negotiations with CSEA Chapter 845. The Board's initial response is to refer the Torrance Unified School District's initial contract proposal to CSEA Chapter 845 to the Board's representative for negotiations. Okay. Oral comments, unscheduled hearings, and non-agenda items. Um, speakers are to address only items that are within the subject matter jurisdiction of the board. The time allotted for such presentations is limited to three minutes. Total time allotted for public input on non-agenda items is limited to 30 minutes. So we have Vanessa, Vanessa Martinez. Good evening, board. I'm just here to speak to you about um, an ed code item and the personnel commission rules and regulations item. And I'll leave um, these little handouts for you if you'd like. Is there a question? Okay. Sorry. So essentially the personnel commission um, with the district, they oversee classified employee items. And one item under their jurisdiction is hearing appeals of terminated employment. So one of the articles, which is article 19.5.22, it reads that upon receipt of the commission's written decision of the board of education um, shall forthwith comply with the provisions thereof. When the Board of Education has fully complied with the Commission's decision, it shall so notify the Commission in writing. So this is if there's an appeal hearing um, heard by the Commission. If the Board of Education fails and or refuses to fully comply with the Commission's written decision and orders as required by the rules and regulations and legal status, the Commission shall, shall seek judicial action to ensure compliance. So in other words, if this Board refuses to um, uphold an item that the commission has voted on, then the personnel commission now has to take the Board of Education to court on the employee's behalf. I just want to let you guys um, aware of that so that a lot of taxpayers' dollars are being wasted for one legal team to go after another legal entity when this money should be spent on our students. Education Code 
45317 essentially states any person who willfully or through culpable negligence uh, violates any of the provisions of this article is guilty of a misdemeanor. It's also unlawful for any person to willfully or by himself or in cooperation with another person to obstruct any person with respect to his right of employment. So just want to let you know that there are legal implications for not following the rules under the education code. And that'll be it. So any questions or comments? And I'll just leave these up here for you guys. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay, no other items there. So discussion action items. Um, Item number two is to adopt a resolution for textbook and instructional materials compliance and certification of provisions of standards aligned instructional materials for the 2015-2016 school year. Do I have a motion and a second? So moved. Second. Um, Dr. Ramona Chang. Or no, I, Dr. Actually, I can, I can address this. As we've done um, every year since it's required in two, since 2008, we've uh, brought you this resolution to let you know and have it certified that all students have the required textbooks. Um, principals sign off at their individual school sites and Dr. Chang oversees the purchase of replacement books as needed as well as new adoptions. Good. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Item number three. Approval to adopt resolution number AS-08-15 slash 16, resolution of the Board of Education of the Torrance Unified School District certifying that housing and community development relocatable buildings are no longer used as school buildings. Dr. Stabler. Yes, this is a state law that went into effect uh, as January 1st this year. By October 30th, we need to, uh, the board needs to adopt a resolution stating that it either uh, it does not have any more of these buildings. In fact, over the last number of years, we had a total of 11 of them. We don't have any more currently being used in K-12 education. They were primarily used as pull-out programs. They were the small 12 by 40 type, uh, single, uh, single wide units, and they're, they're authorized, used to be over through DOH, Department of Housing. They've t changed the title of it, but it's not DSA approved, and that's why we cannot have them, and we, got, we need to certify that we've gotten rid of them all, and we have. Okay, good. We've got a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, we've made it all the way to the consent agenda. How do we want to do this? All at once, one item at a time? I can make a motion to accept all consent items 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and 19 and 20 all at once. Do we have a second? Second. All those can, in favor? can we have discussion? Yeah, we'll have some discussion. I, I'm willing to do that as long as I can make a comment on a couple of those items. You're more I don't need to pull to. them as individual. Okay, good. For individual consideration, though. Okay, we got a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, Mrs. Reagans. Um, yes, uh, one that I wanted to comment on in particular was under general functions consent. It's item number five, a revision to the Board of Education meeting schedule. I just wanted to bring that to your attention that the necessity for doing that was because we kind of ran out of Mondays in uh, March of next year. And uh, for the Martin Luther King Visions of Unity contest to have their um, recognitions evening, we needed to free up a Monday. So that's why we moved the construction meeting to Tuesday. Um, it's not a big deal, and I appreciate the flexibility of our staff and of the board for doing that. Thank you so much. And um, that we are adopting a resolution in support of Red Ribbon Week, October 26th through 30th. Um, so uh, dare to be drug-free and inform people in your community to do the same. Um, and along that a similar line, but not exactly, one of the high school resource speakers that was in the list was AT&T It Can Wait program. And I just wanted to highlight this for a second because it has to do with a speaker who will talk to students about the dangers of texting while driving, which is really important to me. In fact, I put my phone in my trunk of my car so I'm not tempted to uh, look at the phone. No text is worth a life. It can wait. And this is a program that's uh, 
having the students uh, be informed about that and making a pledge and downloading an app that will assist them with that process um, in their uh, school work and in their daily lives. So well, hopefully. Question. So yes. it's in your trunk? Yes. Does My it phone? Does your Bluetooth radio still? Uh, you don't have one, do you? <laughs> No, I don't. No, I don't have Bluetooth radio either. You don't have Bluetooth either. No, I don't. Well, you have a new car. I. You would somewhat. Know you somewhat, somewhat of yeah. a new car. It's, it's not that new of a car. Right. That's right. Um, and I think with that, that will that concludes the items that I wanted to comment. Thank you. Okay, good. Well, that was informative. Um, I wish I had a trunk. Um, item number 21, information, board calendar. Oh, so that's in there. The Williams reporting requirements have been posted, which means we have enough textbooks for everybody. That's always good. Very um, heavy textbooks. And then report from the board's representative to the Southern California Regional Occupational Center, SoCal Rock, Mrs. Terry Reagan. Um, actually, we did have a, a meeting with um, similar kinds of content as ours. We did the unaudited actuals and their financial reports. They are um, stumbling through another year with the, the uh, expected contributions from the JPA districts as we have voted on here. And each of the JPA districts has voted to keep it afloat for a year for our students. Um, and just to remind you all, and you're welcome to join us on the 15th, of, which is Thursday of this week, there will be a presentation by our TUSD staff to the SoCal Rock um, board and staff about uh, the aquatic center that will be being built in their backyard. So uh, I expect that to be a, an illuminating uh, experience with uh, them seeing how it's going to actually materialize in there. Hey, what time is that, Mrs. Reagans? Um, the meeting begins actually at 6 p.m. Okay. So it probably will be near the beginning of that meeting, I would expect. Um, and that's about it. The, the uh, saga goes forward as to uh, how to be able to fund the center in uh, future times that we have not given up and we are still pursuing every avenue that uh, becomes available. They are um, going to pursue applying for a couple of grants to try to support their programs and, uh, and the school and may even be uh, hiring a... Um, professional grant writer to try to uh, maximize their possible grant re receiving. <laughs> look at the look on your face. They oh, haven't been that oh, successful so far, so we're trying to do everything we can to uh, bolster their chances of getting some grant monies into uh, SoCal Rock. And I think that's it. Thank you. Well, maybe if they get through, through and figure it out, they could do a pool maintenance class because we're going to have a one big pool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it might be a new uh, area they could pursue. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'll suggest that. Thank Why you. Bring that up. It's a good idea. I, it's, it just came to me. It just came to me. I understand job. that. Yes. It's like okay. somebody whispered it to me. Okay. Oh, and I do have one more thing. I'm yes, sorry. Mrs. Reagans. And I forgot my um, classified folks anniversaries that were on this agenda. And I really want to... Uh, just recognize those people who have been with us for 10, 15, and 20 years of service to our students. For 10 years of accredited service, there's Jose Avalos, William Dawson, Annie Kwong, Andrea Maldonado, Mary Jane Nielsen, Carol Otsuka, and Antoinette Scott. And then for 15 years of service to our students, Donna Arnold, Deborah Beasley, Penny Dambara, Lynn Dyer, Ruby Flores Ogaz, Carmen Guzman, Karen McKelvey, Patricia Reed, Karen Seto, and Miriam Tabrizzi. And then for 20 years, it's quite a list of 20 year folks here. Um, and those are people who've been around with us for a long time, longer than I've even been around. Just want you to know. Um, and those folks are Lewis Buchanan, Tracy Kaysen, Scott Clark, Eleanor Diaz, Janet Galicia Hubert, Deborah Harris, Masako Hashimoto, Tammy Mose, Sylvia Moreno, Dolores Schiller, and Mary Beth Spadafino. Thanks, folks, for being with us and serving our students, and we do appreciate the work you do. Now I'm done. Thanks. Good job. Okay. 
um, board calendar, Williams recording, that, done that door. So we're down to an adjournment. So let's adjourn in memoriam of um, retired elementary. I'd like to make one comment. I know this is before. Don't we have a spot where the board speaks? You're on the board. You can speak anytime you want. Cool. Well, I want to give, actually give kudos to two groups of people. First off is talking to Mr. Mara about the quantity of hours he's been getting out of IT over the huge hurdles they've been, been adapting with uh, Gmail and other sundry things. So I want to give kudos to him and his team. And secondly, I'd like to purposely mention Ben King's name oh. right here at the board meeting because we get photos from Dr. Manning that came from uh, Mr. King about the fencing and they're very impressive so I want to you can tell him that his name was purposely mentioned at the board meeting so you can do it right now you can just go ahead and light him up and let him know don't tell him why let him sweat a little bit but, but the photos are very impressive so I'm very impressed with the fencing so yeah I like it in the photos it really shows that I mean it really spruces up a bunch of places around the school so like some of those fences go back to when I was there <laughs> Uh, okay, we're well, good. Um, adjournment will be made in memoriam of retired elementary and middle school secretary Rosemary Borger, retired South High School teacher, coach, administrator, and district personnel coordinator John Conway, retired teacher, elementary school counselor, and school administrator Philip Beretta, and retired teacher and program specialist Jane Ellenwood. Motion a second? So moved. Second. All were adjourned. Hi.